Hi guys, this is Fee, Diamond in the Rough, and I'm doing a kit up, and look at how well prepared I am. Now, the coveted Harbour Freight containers, so I'm going to be kitting up with these. These were the two that I got from Cindy B. Um, so I'm going to kit these up and see how they go. Um, and I think once I've worked with these for a while, I might be able to do a comparison between... Elizabeth Ward, Craftmates Lockables, the zip pouch with the six bottles, and working out of baggies. I think I've got those, uh, and one more that I, when I first started, before I got into storage containers. So that'll be coming down the track. But I am going to be kitting this one up. So this is... DIY Moon. Um, look at this. I have my cover minder in play. So this is the cover minder I made. I thought it was an appropriate spot to put it. But um, for those that haven't seen it, that there didn't turn out too badly. So that's my uh, cover, made, cover minder I made out of resin. Okay. I had to teach the camera a lesson. <laughs> All right, so that's just, um, I thought I'd bring that out and show that. Uh, I do have the cover minders from Cindy B, however. They're on use on another diamond painting because, uh, you know me, I never have just the one diamond painting. So I'm going to kit this up. So I'm going to do a combination of things here. I'm going to kit this up. But although this did come, the canvas, it, this is a poured glue. So we all know poured glue cap. We, most of us know that poor glue canvas, most of the time, there's no issues with it. If, for me, if I'm, however, though with me, so once you put a canvas in a frame, um, this is all smoothed out. For me, though, and I'm not sure, but if, if I were to put this one under resin, I have to have that 100% flat. So I'm going to do the um, hairdryer trick. So you can have a look at the hairdryer trick. And um, yeah, so that's uh, that. So this one's from DIY Moon. Canvas, perfect condition, no issue with it. It's just me being ultra, ultra fussy. I mean, when you actually turn it over, it's more the, where the plastic was. So there's no issue with that. Um, it's It's all about how the plastic held it. Okay, so uh, this was one I got in the mystery boxes. So I paid 25 US for it. Um, didn't know what I was ordering. I, obviously, mystery box. I just ordered it. 35 colours. And I'm actually quite impressed with her. So... Bear with me. I'm just going to pull that up. So this is uh, Claudia Tremby. Hang on, let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, but this is Claudia Tremby. So this is an original work. Um, I will say I have seen, I think I've seen a Claudia Tremby being um, on an AliExpress site. I think, I'm not quite sure. Um, but that's something that needs to be looked at anyway. Um, okay, so let's kit this up. I have already done my labels. Uh, for those that, you know, Zyron label maker. Most, and I'll say this, most people have one now. Or those that want one, won't have one. I will have a point out, if you are new to diamond painting... And you don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a little bit of kit that I find absolutely brilliant. I, when I first started diamond painting, I was looking for some way to make labels. And I found it in Spotlight. Um... So that's back in, I 
think I got this in August last year. So absolutely love it. Have um, <laughs> have seen that it's on Amazon. Um, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll pop a link down. But if you are new, these are the best way, one of the best ways to do labels. I will, however, point out that you need a decent quality printer. Sorry, I lost track of where I was, where I was cut. See how cut? Yep. Um, my printer is giving me a very hard time, but for me, because, because this is a small canvas, I can see the symbols at all times of working on it. So I'm more concerned about having the DMC codes. Because when I finish with my diamond paintings, I bag them up into storage. And these are the repositionable labels. Now, when I first started... Um, using the repositionable labels, I wasn't sold on them. I wasn't happy with them. However, what I did do, here's me, I have everything in reach. What I did find that what I could do with the repositionable labels, just hang on, where are we at? I was able to put the repositionable labels on a uh, bit of card and put it in the drills so I know that those drills are DIY moon. Um, those drills there are Gemmet. But what I've managed to do is reuse my la my DMC labels. So that's just a little trick that um, if you get the repositionable labels, makes a big difference. Big difference. Um, because you know you're not having to you can then restore stuff put it on cardstock just on that individual bag itself and then on that cardstock you can write what company you got the B drills from if you find that you need to um, fix up a diamond painting say you've got one that a drills come out you know it's a DIY moon one or a Gemmet one or Ever Moment or whatever. And you can go to that colour and get that exact one. Um, some of the AliExpress ones, I wouldn't necessarily trust that on. Ever Moment, we all know Ever Moment's drills are totally different to everybody else's. Well, if you don't, they, they are. Ever Moment drills are different to all the other companies. And what I have discovered with Ever Moment drills is they, although yes, they have DMC codes, their DMC colouring is different to the DMC colouring that um, we see elsewhere. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Um, I know for me, I'm just trying to look at how I'm going to stack these boxes. For me, I know it's one thing to have it on top, but I think I am going to... So this is all fine by the seat of my pants here. Not put it on top. Okay. Um, I have a thought where I might put them on their sides just just thinking here just thinking can I fit let's see if I hang on let's go get it that way that way get them all the right way if I get them on this side no, I can't. Okay. You've got to try these things. Don't think just one, one way is the best way. Um, 
because what I'm looking at is there is actually a gap and as um, who suggested it who suggested it someone suggested that what I do is I keep the foam um, that I keep the foam because there's not enough room but I'm just trying to work out no okay I'll just stick to the way they are it's easy solved right so my plan of attack is when these go in I like to be able to see um, I like to see the DMC code I don't want it on the top I want it on here where I can see it so that's where they're going to go they're going to go on the back so we will start um, doesn't matter which one goes where because I'll have to reorder them anyway and it has to be on the back ah oh, well I'll do it the right way keep them in order right from the start so it might seem a bit strange I <clears throat> The Harbour Freight ones, by the look of it, you know, that's that's just me looking at it. it. Doesn't seem like I've cut that one through properly. There we go. Um, very much like the Elizabeth Ward, where if you put the labels where they suggest putting the labels, you can't see them. My knife didn't cut that, or did I not cut them at all? No, I did cut them. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there we go. Labels are on. Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Where is. Hang on. I still haven't done it. My tissue. My. my hang on a sec. My lid's fallen. <laughs> Okay, I still haven't done anything with this. So, this is my box that I use. Well, I used to have a tissue box, but I thought I'd get flash. So, while I am doing this, I'm just going to cut this out a little bit. Once I get this to the way I want it, I will um, coat this and put, put protective on it. But at this stage, I just need to make sure I have it at the right size. Okay, oops, don't want to use those ones. Just bear with me while I do this. Just no, nah, they're not going to do it. Hang on a sec. All uh, right, I went and grabbed scissors. I went and used my bigger scissors, not my desk scissors. So I've just put a bigger hole in that. Can I see how that goes? Uh, I don't know how many people have seen it. I think I mentioned. I'd start starting to mention at the beginning of most of my um, kit ups that I have this. Well, I had a tissue box. Um, just hang on a sec.
Did you like that? It wasn't Christmas. You didn't hear the noise. Okay, just put these in order. 3865 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 
Okay, so these are kitted up. We'll say DIY moon. I have eggs. I have baggies. Plenty of baggies from them. Okay, but yeah, kitted up. I've done it so that I have five, and the top one is just container, so that then it's not so uh, lopsided. Just evens it out a tad. <laughs> Um, so they're kitted up. What I am going to do is show you. So this is the box. This was just a little small square box, one piece. So when you kit up something and you have all these little plastic tiny bags, they're great when you can shove them in a box. So a little thing here is you look at all of those and how much space if I had them on my desk or in a plastic bag they would take up so much space all I need to do now with this box is just empty it out in the bin and bin. there we go I was just stuffed up with a word excuse me empty it out in the bin and go again for the next one but this takes these take quite a lot and so long as you can poke it down I originally started out with a tissue box and although this is a full tissue box I had a square one I initially had a tissue box where you had the the plastic so that you could push it in and you didn't have to push too hard because the plastic kept it in um, but I thought I'd try and go something a bit more solid so because when you're emptying out a tissue box, you've got to put your hand into and you end up damaging that plastic, whereas now I can just pour it. Okay. What I do need to do now, though, is now that I'm... I will still need to straighten up these uh, opening up a bit more. Um, but that will be getting... I will resin this one. Don't know how, but this one's going to cop resin on it. Um... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that's the box. Storage containers are full. Thank you, Cindy B. Um, and now I have this guy. Well, this guy, this girl. So there is no issue with this canvas at all. You get the you get a canvas like this, you're happy with it, okay? I am because this is a smaller one. There will be two things will happen with this and one will go into portfolio or it will go under resin if it goes under resin just move my cover mine set the way if it goes under resin i can't have any form of misshape at all on the back okay so this is <laughs> This is just little bits of wavy. It, it's nothing. Once you put drills on these, there's no issue. But the smaller ones, I tend to, if I'm going to put them under resin, I need to have that flat. So this is actually a perfect one um, because the opaque covers, people use the iron on the opaque covers. Um, even on the opaque covers, I use a hairdryer. But this one here, because there's plastic, you don't want to use an iron. So... Mine is um, using a hairdryer and I'll pause here and I will go and get the hairdryer. Did you miss me? I don't think so. I was hardly gone. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just something that people with, um, and I will find something that Cindy's given me, which is going to be really good for this. Um I lean on canvases, so just so you, I, say, I think I say it often enough, I lean on canvases, so I create, I create folds and bends in my canvases. Folds and bends aren't an issue, rivers and, and stuff like that is an issue. But for me, if there's any chance it's going to go under resin, it has to be 100% flat, which is where my smaller ones are the ones that if I'm going to resin, it will be them. So, one thing that I was given by Cindy was these guys. What I am going to do, hang on, I need to do it on the other side. What I am going to do is actually 
peg this to my craft mat. So if you have a craft mat or an easel, um, this pinning is one of the better ways to go. I'm pinning it for the top first. I will do it again upside down. But this just holds it in place for me. And yeah, I normally have to hold and stretch. But I don't know whether you'll hear this or not now that I've got the mic. I do believe that if you have a, I'll turn it upside down. If you have a um, completely lost my train of thought there. Uh, I'm just going to turn this upside down. I've just put a little bit of a heat on the top. That was my train of thought. A little bit of heat on the top. What you'll find is if you have something that isn't as it, it loses its sticky. I find that the process of putting glue down, the poured glue, the poured glue goes on hot. If you actually put a bit of heat onto that glue, it will soften it and reset it and it should come out good again. So just remember that when you're working with your canvases, a little bit of heat might get your sticky back. So blast it with the hairdryer. Okay, it's just... Not while it's un well, I mean, even uncovered, it doesn't make much of a difference. Ah, just trying to work out which way. We're, I'm just trying to work out the best what best way to have this held. But I only want to do it on one end. Just the one end is sufficient. It is the equivalent to ironing a canvas, but without touching the canvas. Whoops, pulled that too hard. <laughs> but that's all this is. It's just the equivalent to ironing without touching the canvas. Okay, so I've done that side, which almost looks like nothing's been done, but it is, you can semi-see it. But it is the plastic that's held its shape. Okay, the plastic is what has held it into that little bit of a bump. Okay, so now I'm just going to peg this one this way. And remembering that 
you know, like this my this diamond painting when I got it, I didn't hang it up. I folded it with the drills, wrapped it around the drills and just put it in the drawer for, for later. But let's see. So here we go. This is, okay, bring it down that way. I'm just pulling this way and just... So I don't know whether you can see that. Okay, so now I've done that side of it. What I want to do is very carefully put the plastic down and it is a case of just rolling it. I could use my metal ruler but just a gentle slide and it goes back on without any any issue at all. A little bit of a bubble there, but that's going to come out with a little bit of pressing. Just a little bit of guidance because it's being held in place. Okay. Let's see if you can see a difference. So you can see that you can see like a little bit. But there isn't anything really on that side and it's nice and smooth that side. Okay, I mean yeah, most of the damage that I've done to the what well there's no real damage, but what I it's me that's caused any uh, the, the the little bubbling that's in there. That was me. Um one more peg. But here we go. So yet again, I'm going to pull this canvas, pull the plastic back. And hold on to the canvas and the plastic. This. <laughs> okay, now, and it's just slide it back on. Okay, there we go. Now, when I, if I work on this and this does go under, um, you can see the difference and that was just I mean there wasn't much to worry about on that but you can really see the difference in the back of the canvas probably a little bit here but I'll do that I'll fix that That little bit there, gone. That is why a hair dryer is better than an iron. You can you can control the heat or the direction of a hair dryer and see it and touch it. If you see something at, on the other flip side of that, if you work on an area and it gets too hot, if you put your hand down onto that hot area, it's going to hurt your hand, but it will draw a lot, of the heat, that, a lot of that heat out. But there is no risk of affecting the canvas negatively uh, the only thing you're going to do is heat up and soften the glue and basically sort out the soften the canvas as well but she is now as if the way she is now is as if I hadn't even picked up lifted it off so I will sticky 
Still good sticky. <laughs> really good sticky. Um, and I do have stickers. Generally I put stickers on top. But I'm going with um, my, my box of goodies. Um, I might put a bit of tape on her instead. Actually, that one. Okay, just so that I know which. There you go, use my teeth to open up tape again. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm only going to put this washi tape on the bottom. When I work on her, I will divide her up. But that's once I start working on her. I don't want to work on her yet. I've kitted her up. She's good to go. But this is... <laughs> magnets. This is something that I'll probably work on um, at the community group. Take it to the community group and work on there because it's a little one. This is a nice one. Okay, so all kitted up. That's beautifully flat again. All good to work on. Really happy with that. And good to go. Do I go that way? Or do I go that way? <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully you got a little bit of a learning out of this one. I do like to kind of share some of my, some of, some of my knowledge that I've learnt while I've been diamond painting. But I thought I'd you know, instead of just kidding up and, and yabbering on, you know, I kid it up and I still yab it on, but you didn't hear it. <laughs> um, yeah, she's good to go, ready to go when I'm ready to work on her. So that's DIY Moon Shop, Claudia Tembe, and that is Rose Garden. So we'll just... See if I can get the camera to focus on her. There we go. So she's going to be quite pretty. Okay, well, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the like button. Hang on. There we go. It's got too much to focus on. That's what I did last time to get it to focus. I got it to focus on something close. There we go. Got it. Um, yeah, guys, hit the like. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, any suggestions? Give me any suggestions for the way that I kid up, you know. My way of kidding up is not always the best way of kidding up. Some people find may find it long-winded. Um, we have all our different reasons for why we kid up the way we kid up. And I'd love to hear how you kid up even if you just put a picture on Facebook of this is my kid up and this is why I like it this way um, get some good discussions happening so that people can see where different ways to set up so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the bell um, so you'll be notified of any uploads and um, thank you all for watching. Bye for now.